Recently I got the Adventure Kit 30 Days Lost in Space from Inventor.io. It's an Arduino programmable board with a bunch of challenges that you can complete in order to learn about hardware programming. It's fun, but then I thought, maybe there's more it can do. This is DCS BIOS. It allows you to send outputs and inputs between your DCS World Flight Simulator and hardware. Hardware like my 30 Days Lost in Space Arduino board. I thought we should start simple. This is an F-18C Hornet in landing configuration. Highlighted is something called an AOA indexer. Its job is to help the pilot understand whether their approach is set up correctly, whether they're slow, fast, or on speed to land correctly. At heart, the AOA indexer is just three lights, green, yellow, and red in a particular configuration. Just so happens I have those in my kit. Wired up and coded up correctly, I can have a functional AOA indexer sitting right next to my control panel as I fly. Let's give it a shot. I found a pattern on Tinkercad, messed with it to get the uh, lights in the right order. Now let's see, 5 volt positive to the board, done. And we gotta ground it, there we go. Placing the first LED lamp, make sure positive's going in the right direction. Next, 220 ohm resistor, otherwise 5 volts is going to blow that LED out. And we're going to connect the light to pin 13, 1, 3. That'll allow us to control it with code. And we'll put the rest of the lights in and wire up the same way. It's really not any different than what you just saw. It's just one's yellow and one's red, and we're using the same resistors, and we're using the same lines, and it's... there you go! Alright, so green is wired to pin 13, yellow to pin 12, red to pin 11. And DCS BIOS makes it really easy just to uh, identify which pins go to which LEDs for the AOA indexers. It's three lines of code, you're done. Push it to the Arduino using our USB cable. And click, and... Alright, time for flight test! Alright. On the approach to the Stennis. Hook down. Once we get uh, established with gear down, we're going to look right here. It's going to be that indexer lights right there, and we're going to see the indexer lights right here. One's going to mirror the other. We need to get down below 250 knots. Once we do that, flaps come out, gear comes down, and we'll start to see some data come in onto the indexer. So 260 knots. Uh, stand by for flaps down, gear down. Flaps down, gear, put the speed brake out. Alright, there we go, we got the red light. Red light showing us that we are fast to shallow. Okay, go ahead and put the speed brake back in now. Make sure that we don't slow too much. Okay, now going into yellow. Yellow showing us we are on speed. We are on speed. There's too much. It's going to be green. It's just we're too slow. Coming in high. All right, back on the indexer. I need a little bit more juice here. We're slipping, slipping down too fast. Oh, too fast again. All right. Or 400, I guess. Okay, ball's still way too high. Work it down, work it down, work it down. There we go, ball's coming down. And coming in on center line. Pick it up. Alright. Good times.